So how was he when you left? Why do you ask him if you that bothered? I would if I knew where he was. Did you two have a row? No, no, it was really amicable after he dumped me. Dumped you? So you've no idea where he is I now? I just told you that, haven't I? Sorry, Nikhil, can you lend me your phone, please? I've already tried it. Not Jay, I need to ring Gabby. Oh, wait, why not? I don't know, I just... I need to ring her, OK? Where is she? Who? Jay? Where have you been? What? What's happened? I asked you a question. In here? Why? Has someone been hurt? You can't do this. No. Then who? I found him. Are you saying that that's his blood? Answer me! Yes. But has there been an accident? He wasn't moving. Where? Jay. Where? On the Hotton Road. What's happened? I just, I just found him. Who? Kane, can you hear me? Can you hear Someone me, Kane? Someone remember. Kane, can you hear me? Kevin, 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 Yes! Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. He's had a serious head injury. Get back. I, I can't. Scan of blood, oxygen and collar now. Kane? Oh, God, no. What's happened to him? We don't know. He's had a nasty blow to the head and his leg's fractured. Well, he's going to be all right. I mean, you're going to save him, yeah? We won't know until we get into the hospital. Oh, God, Debbie. I just don't understand how this could have happened. Have they said anything or he did it? They reckon it's some kind of accident. No, should be meant this to happen. Uh, we can take one with us. Right, you go. I'll meet you there. Oh, oh, you go. It has to be now. Go on, Debbie. Come on, Jess. You're sure? Yeah, certainly it was some kind of accident, but I never heard anything. She's not answering her phone. What? Read my lips. She is not answering her phone. Let's not panic, OK? She can't have gone that far. You don't suppose whoever did that? No, no, that, that was not some kind of random attack. More like somebody did it on purpose. Yeah, but who did that? This is King Dingle we're talking about. Who wouldn't? Oh, King Dingle. What about Amy? Try her phone again. That's all I have been doing. Where do you think you're going? Tell her for Amy. I'm coming with you. Oh, you two wait here in case she comes back. Oh, thank God. Come here. Oh. What are you doing? You must have got some on me. What difference does it make? Charity, it's too late. We have to do something. What? Well, you can hardly stay here. Can you wait for the police? Come on. Uh, probably these. No, there isn't time. We have to go. Go where? Go anywhere! No, not until someone starts telling me what's going on. Now, you listen to me, Zach. He is going to be OK. Come. I'll give you a lift. No, you go on. I'll, uh, I'll catch you. Catherine Murray, you found the victim, is that right? I called it in. Do we have to do this now, only we're in a bit of a hurry? Who are you? I'm his sister. Any idea who'd want to do this to him? What, you're saying it's not an accident? His injuries are suggestive of an assault. Do you know anyone who'd wish him harm? We could probably narrow it down to about half the village. Mr Dingle, not a popular man, then. Well, it doesn't mean he deserves to have this happen to him, though, does it? Someone obviously thought so. Care to hazard a guess who? Right, it might mean nothing, but he had a scrap earlier. Who with? John Barton lives at Butler's Farm. Know what it was about? You have to ask him, won't you? Now, do you mind? Only my brother might be dying while we're wasting time here. So, you weren't the first on the scene? Jay was. Jay Sharma? He wasn't the one they called the ambulance. No. Any idea where we can find him? Well, try my pork to all pack in the village now. Do you mind? He's right. Not King Dingle having enemies. Why? Looking through his record. All of it turns out that Mr. Sharma made a complaint about him only today. Where can I get you? Are you the landlord? <laughs> Biggest customer, I think. Uh, no, I'm just holding the fort. 
Is he dead then, Kane? He's been taken to hospital. I'll be sure to pass on your concern. Have you any idea of what's happened? Well enough, that's what we're here for. Well, it wasn't any of us. We've all been sat here. We were told we could find Jay Sharma here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll show you through. What's going on? These these officers want a word with you. Jay Sharma? I'm investigating the assault on Kane Dingle earlier this evening. He found him, but he had nothing to do with it. It's OK. I was just about to call you. Better late than never. Well, he's got nothing to hide, if that's what you're saying. I'm Charity Tate, by the way. I'm the ex of, of both of them. You're Kane Dingle's ex-partner? In a previous life, I was, yeah. You'll be wanting to know how he is. How is he? Touch and go, I'm afraid. Well, I'll I'll need to be with my daughter then, because she's going to need me. She'll need to ask you a few questions, actually, both of you. Can't it wait? I'm afraid not. Charity Tate, I'm arresting you on suspicion of the attempted murder of Kane Dingle. You don't have to say anything, and if you do so, we'll be written down. Maybe you against you. on suspicion of the attempted you. murder of Kane Dingle. You do not have to say anything. Anything you do say will be written down and maybe used in evidence against you. Kane Dingle found by the sign of a road after possible RTA. Obvious severe head injury with scalp lacerations, open fracture of the tibia. Respiratory rate is 20 with bilateral air entry. BP is 116 over 78 with a pulse of 82. GCS is 8 with equal and reactive pupils. We've fully immobilised his spine, given him oxygen and cannulated. Yeah, my count please. One, two, three. Madam, I need to see my daughter. Charity, what's going on? Make sure someone searches the properties, Holgate Farm and the factory on Robblesfield Way. Great, this is all Debbie needs. It's got to be a mistake. Let's order an urgent x-ray and blood gases, please. Grandad! What are they saying? Nothing. No one's saying anything. He can't... He won't. The last thing that I said to him was to chuck him out. He knows that you love him. <laughs> His heart rate's dropping and his blood pressure is low. His pupils are still reacting, but it sounds like raised intracranial pressure. We need to get that CT now. And let's get him 100 mils of mannitol to buy us some time. So where was Mr Sharma while you were waiting in the pub? He was out on business. You'll have to ask him. At 7 o'clock at night? He's a big boy. He doesn't need to get permission, does he? Would you say Jay had a strained relationship with Kane? Oh, about him and 50 other people, yeah. Don't see any of them in here. They weren't the ones covered in blood. I told you, he came across him by accident. By accident? Please, can I talk to my daughter? I should be with her, not answering pointless questions. Was Jay angry with Kane? They had their moments. Enough for you and Mr Sharma to split up. Who hasn't had aggro off their ex? It's life, isn't it? Things get a bit complicated. People lose their rag. It doesn't mean I wanted him dead. You wanted him dead. What? You said you wanted him dead. He? So Jay wanted Kane dead? I want to speak to my daughter, and you've got no right to speak. Did Mr me. Sharma want Kane Dingle dead, yes or no? No! Is he dead? Not yet. Which means all of this should be by the by. How do you mean? He'll be able to tell us who attacked him himself. If he comes round. Why didn't you report it? Like I said, Cameron was already on the phone to you. I didn't think it took the both of us. So you just walked away, left him there to die? What else was I supposed to do? My first aid skills don't exactly stretch to major head injuries. So you just went to the pub instead? I went to tell Charity. Thought it was the least I could do. Least is about right. Earlier today, you made a complaint about Mr Dingle. 
quite a number of complaints. Theft, harassment, even attempted kidnap. He's a psycho. Somebody had to do something. So did you? Do something? Yeah. I reported him. Handy, though. Man you claim carried out a sustained campaign of terror against your family, fighting for his life in hospital. Right. Only I didn't put him there. Somebody else got the satisfaction. But you wanted to. The queue was long. What about Charity? What about her? How did she take it when you told her? How'd you think? Jealous ex. Making a life hell, refusing to let her move on. Don't imagine she shed too many tears. Right, I'm sorry. Right, am I here to answer questions about her or me? Both. So which is it? Which is what? One of you's obviously covering for the other. I'm just wondering who. Any news? But he's still alive, well, as far as we know. Still working on him in there. He's strong. He'll get through this. At last. We're about to take your father out for a CT scan. Why? How bad is he? Your son sustained a serious head trauma from a blunt weapon. How serious? Well, that's what we're waiting to find out. Once we get the results, we'll know if there's any internal bleeding. Oh, my God. But he will be OK. He'll also need an operation for the injury to his leg. I'm sorry, I've got to go. I'll tell you as soon as we know any more. I want to know who did this. Ain't it obvious? What? Don't. Just going to find out sooner or later. Find out what? Earlier they arrested you. You are kidding. I took your mum and all. Why? I can't seriously think she did this. We all saw what it was like, whether nothing was going to stop him. Except someone did. <laughs> 